Good afternoon. I'm back with another episode um, of the So Show. No, wrong way. There you go. Uh, so Show. Say, there we are. Um, where you left us off last, we finished the end of the season. We unfortunately went on a little bit of a bad run over the last couple of games. We couldn't beat Angers or AC or JCO. So we got knocked out of the playoffs. And uh, that's that, really. We still managed, I think we finished seventh or eighth or something like that. Uh, which isn't too bad, but this season is the season I reckon we're going to get promoted one way or another. I think this is our season, so hopefully it will be. Um, there's not been any major losses transfer-wise. We've managed to keep basically the same squad, so exciting times ahead. Hopefully we can push on now this season and really dominate in the league. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, this is just a short intro. In a second, I'll be back with the... First game of the new season. So, as you can see here, it's the brand new season, as I said. Um, we've got some very tough teams in this league. We've got Angers, um, Saint Entienne, we've got uh, Bordeaux, Lorient, Metz, Montepella, Nims. You know, it's just, this is probably the most, this is probably the hardest. Um, season we've had when it comes to quality teams in this division it's just ridiculous like i said there's like six teams that are probably better than us um, let's have a look at where what the season preview says so we're meant to be finishing 10th there's there's nine teams that are ahead of us as you can see center and ntn are the favorites followed by angers montepella uh, fc lorient bordeaux fc Metz. And then Khan, Ajacio, and Grenoble. So, like I said, a very tough year ahead of us. But I feel like with this new tactic and how well we did last season, um, I think we can do well, really. But we'll see. Like I said, uh, let's we'll have a quick look at the transfers out. Oh, I'll have a look at these clauses. Are they worth cashing out yet? No. Mm, that one, maybe, but I'll leave it because he's. Let's have a look. How did he do in the end? Alexis Gill. He went to Met for just under 10 million and then he played 10, uh, 12 games, sorry, scored one goal, got one assist. So we'll leave it, see how he gets on. And then Kunzler, I don't think he played much for Palace. He is wanted by. Um, sorry, right, let's have a look. Yeah, Burnley, Southampton, and Wolves. So we might not get much for him. They're the only clubs after him. He didn't play much last season for Crystal Palace. He only played five games, didn't really do anything, got a 6.8. So, yeah, we're not probably going to make much money off him. Uh, but, yeah, right, let's have a look at, like I said, let's have a look at transfers out for the season. Obviously, no transfers in. But um, we've sent a couple of players on loan. And then I'll just, I'll just go back here in case there was anything I missed. Uh, Favour went. And then Origi went on loan. Izanga went on loan to Le Mans, but he's back now. So Izanga's spent meant to. We've signed Izanga to a new contract now. So he wants to be first team player. So hopefully in time he will get that. Um, but at the moment he's not going to be playing this game. Why is he not? Is he injured? I think he might be injured. Yeah, he's not available by the looks of it. Yeah. But he'll probably end up playing as the, the main right winger for the season. Uh, Kalutu, who slightly improved, he went from a two star potential to a three star potential. But I don't think in the long run he's good enough for what we need. Uh, but there, let's see how we get on. New season. Hopefully, we can start the season well, build up a bit of a, a lead. If we end up conceding in the first minute, I'm going to cry. No, we didn't, luckily. I like that. That was there uh, the, other, the other day, wasn't it? A uh, pride player. That's good. Little touches that FM do that makes it really good. But yeah, at the moment we yeah. So this game we're playing Nims. Nims are a very good team. I think we struggled against them last season. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how we get on. Seems to be all at them at the moment. We don't seem to be getting any momentum in this game, but things can change. Clearance, right. Let's see if we can counter attack from here. Lafont gives it to Langace. Cross. Oh, Kalutu, what are you doing? Poor touch by him. 
I'll be happy when Ozanga's back. Oh no. Oh, that was a beautiful pass. That deserved to be a goal. That was, I would have been surprised if that didn't go in there. 1 0 down. Not the best to start. All the way down to the bottom now. <laughs> we're the only team. This, this is the only match fighting at the moment. So we're kicking off the new season for League Two. Uh, this is a game I want us to win um, because we are going to struggle against against five or six teams this season in both games we play them because they're just far superior than us. But um, yeah, we just got to hope. We just got to be positive. Really, it's the only thing we can do. Go on, Thierry. Oh. I'd have backed him normally. Yeah, we're trying though. We're trying to get into this game now. Yeah, nothing's happened since. Hmm. This first half's going to end 1 0 to the opposition. Hopefully the team talk that the assistant manager does will inspire us to get an equaliser here. Push on. Right, Bastion. Beautiful pass. Go on, Lafont. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was in. I thought that was in. Oh. Better, though. Better from the team. Corner. Lafont floats it up. Fortunately, Kofi can't get his head on it. Because you know if Kofi could get his head on it, he'd probably score. Right, Langes is not playing well. Neither wingers are playing well, actually, but I don't think we've got anybody. No, we haven't really. Um, we'll just have to leave it. No, we won't. If he's getting a 6.2, we've got to do something. Right. Apparently, he can play there, but I don't think he can, let's be honest. And then put him there. And then Bastion can go here. A more familiar position. And then we'll take you off. Put the bat in there and we'll put the bat here in a more familiar position. So it's a bit all over the place, but we're having to get around the players. Uh, Kofi's not playing well, but I'm going to leave him for now for a bit. See how he gets on. Uh, watch out for Abdu this year. I think this year he's going to become a really good player for us. He, him and Thierry are going to form a really good. I mean, I literally. I mean, uh, he's going to be offside. But yeah, uh, uh, Abdu, he's going to be a really good player for us. Him and Thierry are going to be a really good midfield partnership. Similar to like uh, Vieira and Petit back in the good old days of the 90s with Arsenal. Right, Abdu is a bit knackered though, so we'll have to take him off, unfortunately. Silver on. I think we'll have to take off Kofi. Put on Muller. I trust him more than I trust Baz at the moment. Ah, oh, that would have been a one-one. Then we could have uh, at least got a point out of this. Or well, looks of it, they might now go on and score. Oh, luckily not. Right, we've still got time. Try and demand a bit more. Bastian gives it to Bolivian. Bolivian loses the ball. Bit of miscommunication there. Back in the uh, he's in possession of Nims. Great over the top ball. They timed their run perfectly. Goal. Oh, maybe not. Let's see what VAR says. Probably will be allowed though, because it's always the way. Yeah, that's all right then. I'm all right with that. Uh, we still got a chance of getting in this game. We are getting chances. Right. Let's no. Oh, actually, yeah. Let's try hit early crosses. Play for set pieces. Be more expressive. Go fairly wide. And then distribute to the fullbacks out of possession. Um, we'll leave that. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is so broken today. All right, we can do all we can do here now. There's nothing much else we can do. They've got a corner. Headed out. Good save by the goalie. Nah, we're not going to get anything out of this, unfortunately. Nims took their chances better. 
we were unlucky with that offside goal that they were unlucky as well so cats out lucky um not the best way to start the season it's gonna i'll do this offline right i'll be back in a sec right let's hope this game is a better one for us let's hope the season starts today with us um winning against bastia this is a team we can beat and we should be beating azang is still not available. Uh, did Ox map though, which is good. Where is Isanga? I think he's just injured. I haven't sent him on loan, so. Right, let's see how we get on anyway. Kaluta will have to do for now. He had a decent season last season, but that last game he was atrocious, absolutely atrocious. Right. Free kick, headed out. Got back in possession. Paisley gives it to Bastian. Bastian. Crosses it with his right foot. Paluto, is that Paluto might have been? Yeah, Paluto with the header hits the bar. Good start though. More positive than the last game. Right. Bastia in possession. I always panic whenever the opposition has the ball like this. I mean, Jesus Christ, we just let him run past us there. That is ridiculous. Ah. <sighs> Such poor defending, right? That deserves shell when I get chance. Hopefully we can get an equalizer here and get there we go. Oh yeah. What a response. The font weren't having that. It was like no, you ain't beating us, lads. We're gonna flip him crash you now. Right, this will be the first of many goals coming up in this game for us, I think. Yeah, I think it was to Terry. Thierry. To Didot. Didot drives it forward, loses the ball, unfortunately, though. Uh, last year in possession, though, we get it back. Thierry gives it to Abdu. Look at that, that was a great ball. Oh, Abdu knows how to pick out a good pass, I'll tell you now. Lafonce with the corner. Beautiful. Oh, that, was, that was a shame. Peluto with the ball now, leads to nothing, though. But yeah, a lot more positive since we conceded. Fired us up more than anything else. <clears throat> Yagni. Paisley with the ball. Playing it out from defence. Paluto. That was... No, 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 no. We don't like that Paluto at all. encouraging the players we are of the better team by the looks of it at the moment looking at the stats good ball ah bossy was unlucky there some of the players are really letting us down with their with their um touch oh look at that thierry go on oh <laughs> that's offside isn't it that is offside i do like that though i feel like he just like did a little sneaky back heel but he was too far yeah that's <laughs> Ah, right. Paul Kofi, 6.1. Right, I'm going to fire him up. Get the best out of him, I think. See how we get on. He was unlucky for that goal to be disallowed, in my opinion. Just slightly offside. Shouldn't get a 6.1 range just because he had a goal disallowed. The font. Gives it to Bossy. Bossy to Diagne. Lovely over the top ball. Kaluto with the goal. Ah, oh, here we go. I don't think he was offside. I think that should be allowed. Come on. Come on, BAR. Oh, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Right. 1-1, one, one. we've had 16 shots, sorry, 17 shots, 7 on target, 2.9 XG, only one goal. Maybe I will have to take Kofi off in a minute. Pluto needs to come off, but Lange, so we'll take Kofi off, we'll put on Baz, and then we'll take, no, we won't take Pinto off. 
can take off as we run on. Now, triple substitution, let's see how it works for us. Caluto, unfortunate there. We are banging on the door here. I feel like it's not going to be if, it's just going to be when we get this goal. We are running out of time, though. That's the annoying thing about it. Piagni gives it to Pinto. Beautiful pass. Hopefully with the goal. Right, okay, let me cancel this. We'll take off Paluto. And we'll take off Paisley. And then we'll leave the rest for now. Hopefully he's redeemed himself. His rating will go up. There we go. 7.0. Everybody else seems to be playing well now. Let's hope we get our first win of the season. Hopefully he gets his first goal of the season as well. Thierry with a beautiful shot. That was unfortunate. Corner though. Did off. Drives it in. Headed out. Beautiful pass by Did off. Thierry again with another blaster shot. We get another corner there. Terry really testing out the goalkeeper by the looks of it. Did up with the corner. Floats it up, headed out. And now uh, Bastard on the counter attack. At least nothing. That's all right. I'm happy with that. Ah, here we go. Oh, no, got it back. All right. Lafont. I feel like he's got a hair, but I don't think, I didn't think he's, I don't think Lafont's hair was like that last season. And that happened with the, uh, Creative players on here. The regions, do they have random hairstyle changes? Let me know in the comment section if that's true. I'm probably imagining it. Probably always have that hairstyle. Right, there we go. First win of the season. Good, good, good. Back on track. Got one next. Right then, back in a sec with the next game. Right, here we go. We've got four now. Uh, another game we should be winning. Angeli's in the team. Um, I think that's pretty much it, really. It's the same team. We had a an offer for Bastion, but I uh, flat out refused it. We haven't really got any quality left backs. So... It's just not worth it unless they give us a ridiculous offer. Because he is 27. So he is literally one of the old, He's probably the oldest player in the first team at the moment. I could be wrong with that one, but I think he is. <clears throat> so he is probably due to leave at some point once we find a player good enough to replace him in the youth teams and stuff. At the moment, I don't think we've got anybody like that. Um, we're playing in the white. I think it's the shirt I'm wearing, what I'm actually wearing, that they're wearing on the uh, on the pitch here. Uh, Bois uh, in the yellow. We're in possession now, Bastion. The man of the hour, the man we were just talking about. Uh, Paisley gives it to Diagne. Now Pinto with the ball. Beautiful pass. Oh, the font was unlucky. The font was unlucky. I think if we get rid of Kofi, I think the font could probably play very well up front in, as his replacement. I don't think Baz is good enough. We would actually struggle in quality up front if we actually um, didn't have Kofi anymore because he's our main man. He gets the goals. I just worry that we won't have anybody to be good enough. Angeli, first goal of the season, 1 0 to us. I'm a bit relaxed in this game because I feel like we're going to win this one easily. I mean, I'll probably jinx myself now, but I do think we'll win this one. The quality's there. Um, spoiler alert, by the way. I managed to get um, my replacement shirt by from a, Enigma football shirt. And uh, they got me, they sent me a Tagalari shirt from a couple of years ago. It's really nice, to be honest. Um, the only thing is, it's a little bit tight on me, but that's not their fault. I'm not going to, it's not. Like, it's wearable, I can wear it, but probably not out and about. But it can be one of the shirts that I wear when I do my videos and stuff, which is fine. 
as long as I can wear it while I'm sitting down where no one has to see me, it doesn't matter. Um, again, I'm coming to terms with the fact that football shirts are just not made for me. Even the legit ones I have trouble with finding one big enough for me. It just depends on... <sighs> Sorry, I keep hiccuping. It just depends on the brand. Adidas 3XL fit me perfectly. Whereas if you get like uh, a brand that's not very well known, then they probably their their sizes are probably not going to be as good enough for me to fit me. Their shirts probably aren't going to be able to fit me for that reason. Oh, nearly. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice Cagliari. And Cagliari, I think I hope I've said that. I hope I've pronounced that name properly. But they are a team that actually won me nine hundred quid on a football advert I did many years ago. So basically, what happened was, um, uh, I was it was it was midweek games. There was Champions League games, and there was quite a few teams that were losing, um, even though they were better teams. So what I did is I basically did this Super Heinz bet, multi-bet, which for people who don't know, is it's basically a seven-fold accumulator, um, but you also get, like, you don't need all seven teams to win to win some money. Um, so, yeah, so basically I was lucky I had all seven teams winning, but at the time... I had six out of the seven that were that were winning, um. So I would have I would have got two hundred quid off that, which was which was great anyway, because the bet was only like two pound fifty or something like that. It was just a small multi bet for fun, um. When I was gambling a lot, I don't gamble that much now though, and um, basically I needed Agaliri to win to get go from two, winning two hundred to nine hundred, and the last kick of the game they they scored and they won four three against um Sampdoria I think it was at the time and I was ecstatic so uh, I managed to get a new laptop with that money so I used it well I say used it wisely some might disagree but yeah I was quite chuffed by that um biggest win I've ever had on the football was that so I have won 500 quid once or twice before um I've had way more losses than wins though so I'm not an expert and I wouldn't recommend anybody gambling um, do it as a bit of fun with a spare couple of quid once a week or something on the on the weekend when the football's on. I wouldn't I wouldn't do it long term. Um, and if you feel like you've got a, a problem, get yourself banned like I have. I've managed to get myself banned from Litchi online every bookies there is, um, and also my local bookies as well. So if I really want to gamble, I have to go to the next town and go to one of their shops, but. I very rarely do that these days. I did a, I did gamble a little bit. Get in two one, super sub Galuto. I did gamble a little bit on the Euros. I I won ninety quid off a bookings double in one of the England games when Bellingham and um Maynou both got booked, and that that was in the first sixteen minutes of the game. It was the easiest ninety quid I've ever made. Um, but other than that, I didn't win anything on there. So I I lost more money than I won, which which obviously proves my point about it doesn't pay to gamble but yeah each to their own i just wouldn't recommend doing it there's help out there for people as well if you need any if you need any advice on quitting gambling let me know in the comment section i'll find you the appropriate helpline numbers to get yourself self excluded you have to you have to be ready to do it if you're not ready to do it you'll find ways to gamble you have to be really ready um i did it because i wanted to make sure that the, this little inheritance that I got off my grandparents, I didn't waste it gambling. So I made sure I got myself sorted when it comes to that before I got that money. So I didn't waste that money, which luckily I haven't wasted that much money on it. Uh, I've wasted it other ways, like buying clothes and stuff. And I had a little business selling clothes online um, on the eBay and stuff. So I bought stuff with that money. And then the rest of the money I'm basically living on. Um, paying, helping my girlfriend with the bills and stuff like that for this house. I'm contributing that way, but it also gives me the freedom to do this and not actually have to get a job because me actually working in a job like a nine to five job or any job in general, I just hate the idea of it. It's just I'd rather have my own little business if anything. Um, fortunately, the eBay shop didn't. It didn't do well in the long run. It did well for about 18 months. And then the economy, as we all know, just basically crashed. Everything went off. So people buying clothes on eBay was not a priority for a lot of people. So that's why 
my sales and a lot of people's sales on eBay went down. Uh, you can you can still make money if you wanted to, but it, you have to really like take offers all the time. Um, but yeah, it wasn't worth it in the long. So I got out of it before it got too much of a financial waste of money because I didn't want to waste money on it. So I started doing this. Um, I've not made any money off this yet. But my aim is all my aim is to uh, become monetized at some point on this, and make some money hopefully with your help. The more people I have watching me, the, the more chance I've got of making money. Um, even if it's just like an advertisement deal or something like that or whatever, it just it just brings a little bit of extra money. I'm not looking to be the next Mr. Beast or or even the next Lelujo, even though I am a big fan of his and I like his style of playing football manager. Um, there's very few people that can actually make money from from doing football manager content. I think the ones that are doing it at the moment are, are probably the only ones really. I think there's like a short, there's like a small amount of people that will get that type of money. Um, I could be wrong, but yeah. So I'm realistic in, in assuming I will not make money from this. But at the moment, it's it, until I think of until I think of another way of trying to make money, it will be thing i focus on the most and i am enjoying it i do enjoy making content um gaming content and stuff like that so uh, i enjoy i also enjoy doing the mystery shirts and the fake shirts and stuff like that as well so um yeah and hopefully you can see that when i'm doing them and you enjoy watching me um lately my views have been up on my football manager con football manager content more than the tw 2020 content so that's good it used to be the other way around so i'm hoping that you lot are starting to get used to me and liking me for me i'm not like i am like marmite you'll either like me or you won't and i do sometimes ramble on hence what, what i'm doing now but um when i'm passionate about something i'll talk about it so yeah anyway onwards and upwards all right now you'll have me not talk for about five minutes while i'm doing this uh nothing really worth showing you just trying to bring in more better staff, more staff. I'm also focusing at the moment on my health as well, because that's obviously really important. I hit 40, so I'm trying to get healthier. Um, I mean, in the last 18 months, I've been going to the gym regularly. Um, so I have got I have lost a bit of weight doing that, and I've uh, and the last month, last month or two, uh, well no, since I've moved here to my girlfriend's, I I walk at least over an hour every day, and I go to the gym three times a week, um, trying to watch what I eat, even though I do I'm, I have I get cravings, and I, I'm like I have every I have every excuse under the sun. I could easily not eat the shit eat the shit I eat, um, you know chocolate and cakes and stuff like that but i choose not to because they give me a little joy it's a sad excuse uh anybody who's fat or knows somebody that's fat and has problems with food they will understand and i'm calling myself fat i'm not saying anybody else but like i'm just i am i am obese medically obese so there's no arguments on me on that one so yeah but yeah like i said i'm trying to do something about it What's frustrating is is I'm getting I'm looking better because I'm working out a lot, but I'm not losing any weight, and I still look fat in my belly, so it's really frustrating. But these things will I will figure it out eventually. Um, anyway, right, we drew two two last game. I'm sorry I rambled on about something other than the actual game in that game. Um, we were unlucky. We conceded in the last minute or two of that game. We we should have won. Probably because I wasn't concentrating properly. Probably the reason why we conceded. Could have done something about it. Anyway, onwards and upwards. We've got VAFC next. Both he's up front. I think the rest of the team is the same. So it's just crack on. The Agni's playing right back, which he doesn't usually do. So he's probably got an injury on that one. Matthias is back in the team. I don't think he's good enough. Oh, he is. He was injured for a long time. So it's good to see him back. Like the last game, I didn't even notice. But yeah, Paisley and Matthews would probably be a good defense, central defensive partnership. Maybe that's the reason why Diagne's now right back. I don't know. I never understand what the 
assistant manager does at times on this. <clears throat> Thierry, Kofi to Didart. Didart drives it for. I mean, come on, mate. Have a word with yourself. That was a terrible shot. I think he laced. I think he used his laces on that one. Um, we're currently 10th. Three points away from the playoffs. Only four games played, though, so I'm not too bothered about the league at the moment. I would like us to at least get in the playoffs, even if we don't go up, because, like I said, there is some strong teams in here that will make it even harder. There's only three teams that can go up every season. So we have got to work that out to get out of this division. Um, I always thought to myself, we're probably going to have to spend like five or six, maybe seven seasons in this division before we get out of it. But I think once we get out of it, I think we'll be ready and I think we'll stabilise ourselves in League 1 then. I don't think we'll go down if we go up to League 1. There's a few positions we need to improve on with our youth intakes coming through. Um, but they need time to settle into the team. Not everyone's going to be first team ready. Matthews. But yeah, sorry if I've rambled on um, and stuff. Sometimes I just do. I just start. Because if I'm passionate about something, I will talk about it. Oh, um, and I feel like if I talk about my past, it helps you understand who I am and why I'm doing this and stuff like that. Obviously, it's not everyone's cup of tea. Some people just want to watch somebody playing football manager. <laughs> Let me know in the comments section if I ramble too much in your driver. I just sit there and not say anything and just play the game. I don't mind doing that. Because I do struggle to have a conversation with playing this when I'm not actually talking to anybody. Um, so yeah, so that's why I'm probably just talking about my past and stuff like that. Because so, it's something different to talk about that I haven't talked about already. I don't think I have. I might have mentioned about my previous uh, eBay shop and stuff. Luto gives it to Lafont. Oh, unlucky. Tell you what I'm going to have today. Not that you need to know, but it's very random. But I haven't had a sausage sandwich in weeks now, and I'm really craving them, and I've got sausages in the fridge. So I am going to have a sausage sandwich. Um, I was I was at a barbecue on... I was, on a, I was at a barbecue on Saturday night, and I just because my partner's mom, who lives here, she is a strict Hindu, so we're not allowed to eat beef, which is understandable. I respect her beliefs so i don't eat beef in the house um so we're at the barbecue and as you can imagine i went absolutely crazy eating i had about five or six beef burgers so i probably ruined any progress i made that week but i was i was just every time i took a bite it just tasted so nice um but yeah right i've used the former subs there's a few underperforming players that i can't take off that will just have to stay on I think this is going to be a nil-nil draw. Maybe it's going to take us a while to warm up this season. I don't know. I feel like we'll hit form eventually, but it might be too late. That's the sad thing about us, like similar to last season. We're doing better this season than we were last at the start of last season when we were leeching the relegation zone. Luckily, I changed the tactic and it worked. Right, I'll be back um, in a set with the last game of the episode. Right, so here we are, last game of the episode. Let's hope we can uh, end this episode with a good result. Um, Pinto's back as right back, which is good, which means Diagne's in there for Matthews in the centre. So maybe Matthews isn't. Maybe they prefer Diagne in there at the moment because he's experienced. Um, Bastian on the left, Thierry and Abdu, really good midfield partnership. Have a bit. Yeah, fairly decent partnership playing together, so there you go. Uh, Lafont on the right, Angeli in the middle, did it on the left, and Kofi up front. I feel like that's probably our strongest team, so I hope we will win this game because that reason. We are playing a JCO, who are second at the moment, so it's going to be a tough game, but we'll see. First highlight goes to us from a throw in, playing it out from defence. Had to do with a beautiful over the top ball, fortunately, gets headed away. Lovely hit by a JCO. Like I said, very similar to River Plate and Peru and Rayo Vallecano. 
Actually, it wouldn't be River Plate. I don't think they have the red stripe like that. So it's, it's Real Vallecano and uh, Peru national team. Um, we've just scored. But VAR, as always, wants to stick their nose in. Goal awarded, though, so that's all right. 1-0 to us. Good, good, good. Throw in to us. Bastian. Right, Bastian back with the ball. He's going to drive it onto the wing. Crosses it in. Headed. Unfortunately, both can't get his head on it properly. Get in. Abdu with a goal. Lovely, lovely goal. Told you about Abdu. We need, you need to watch out for him. Very good player. I think he'll be our next one that we end up selling for big money. Him or Didart. It's going to be Didart, Lafont, or Abdu if we are to sell him. I don't particularly want to sell him. But if we get a stupid, ridiculous offer, we have to do it to balance the book. But ah, another goal. Third goal of the season for Kofi. 3 1. 3 0, sorry. Easy peasy, 11 squeezy. Praise the team now. There, uh, yeah. Seventh at the moment. Corner. Look at this. We're, uh, we're playing really well in this game. I wouldn't be surprised if we get a couple more yet. Oh, look at that. Bastion's on the action now. 4 0. Everybody wants to score. Have we got four individual scorers in this game so far? Have a look. Kofi, Abdi. No, Kofi's got two. But yeah. It's good that there's uh, everybody's getting a, a chance to score here. Didot. Paisley back. Pinto, beautiful first time cross. Ooh, Kofi Nina gets his hat trick. Three different people with the assist as well, which is good. And midfield, uh, midfield at the moment is looking really nice with three assists, one each. Right, let's remove that. Add that. Put in a sec. Ah, unlucky. Oh no, VAR's going to check it. Hopefully, we that gets a disallowed and we can hopefully keep the clean sheet going. Yep, yeah, good. We've still got the clean sheet for now. Bastion. We'll take off players once they get a little bit tired. At the moment, there's no need to do anything. Into. Fouled. I think that's outside the box, but I could be wrong. Potential penalty to us here. Oh, penalty. Didn't come up on the screen, though. There we go. Patrick for Kofi. Fourth goal this season. Man of the match performance so far. Absolutely destroyed JCO today. Right, so I think what we'll do is we'll take Kofi off because he's already scored his hat trick. Put Baz on. Give him some much needed game time. Uh, Thierry's not playing particularly well, so we're taking him off. We'll put on uh, Silver. Pinto to Abdu to Lafont. Beautiful ball. Angeli with a goal. I'm amazed that's allowed. I swear he was offside. Absolutely destroying them here. We've had Patrick or Kofi, and then we've had Angeli, Bastian, and Abdu. So four different goal scorers so far. Gagnon with the ball. I want to keep a clean sheet in this game. I think that'll that be that'll do our defence the world of good if we and our goalkeeper can keep a clean sheet. They uh they're on the break now though. Uh, see where this highlight goes. Oh, good save, goalie. He's determined to keep his. He wants that clean sheet bonus, doesn't he? Corner to Agesio. Headed out. Good save, Popal. He's earning his money today. Corner to Agesio. Let's hope this leads to nothing. Uh, I don't, like I said, I want to try and keep this clean sheet. Nicely held there. Right, we can relax for now. Free kick to us, Lafont. Lines it up. Passes it to Bastian. Bastian in, the, in a, an orthodox position on the right. Baz with his first goal of the season, but VAR is probably going to disallow it, I think. 
I think he was offside. Oh no, okay, stand corrected. Nice to see Vaz get a goal. Corner to us, Angeli, floats it up, headed out. Still got possession though with uh, Bastian. Oof, headed out again. Pinto has another go at this. Um, I don't know what's going on there. The font. That. Didot. 8 0. Absolutely destroying them here. Running away with this game. But 10.0 match rating. Who the fuck did? I don't think I've ever seen that. I might have seen it actually. I don't think I've seen it more than once though. All right, so we'll take you off. Um, we'll take you off the dot as well. And then we'll take off the pons if we can. Because he's had a 10.0 match rating, so I don't think there's. Uh, we'll try and preserve that in case he ends up doing something wrong. Plus, it'll be nice to give some other players some, uh, some match time. I think Maluto will probably get a goal here in a minute. Oh no. I don't know why the, that highlight stopped them. Angeli with his booth on for the hair. Look at the air on him, mate. Oh no. No, 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 no. We want to keep this bloody tripping. Yes, good tackle. Oh no. Penalty. Ah. Oh. oh well. Let's see if they are. Rules it out first. Probably not going to happen. It looked like a foul. Oh, get in. Thank you. VAR's been really, really nice to us today. Eight nil. Who the funk it? What a way to end the episode, eh? Probably our biggest win. Maybe our biggest win of the. Uh... For the whole so show save so far, I could be wrong. Let's have a look. History, history, history. Club info. History. Uh, records. Right, so where is it? Will it be here? No, attendance results. There you go. So biggest win was twelve one versus U.S. Valencians in, in oh nineteen thirty five. So we haven't beaten an old record yet, but at least that's one for us try and beat 12 ones we've got to try and get a 13 one at some point or a 12 nil maybe or 13 nil uh that was a recent one high scoring league game versus memes that was a good game that one right then on that note i'm gonna quickly do this first Hang on. there we go on that note i'm gonna call it a day thank you as always for watching um the last game made the whole episode worth it as far as I'm concerned. So I hope you watched it to the end to enjoy the 8-0 win. And thank you for the people who have been watching the series regularly. Always appreciate it. Let me know in the comments section if you if you watched it from the beginning. I would appreciate that, knowing that people have stuck with this series. Um, and I'll be back uh, next week with another, episode, another two episodes. Monday and Tuesday next week will be FM24 So Show. And then on that note, I'll be back tomorrow with a um, TW 2020 episode of Fight Club Pro. So, yeah. Anyway, speak to you soon. All the best. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.